one knows that Rudolph has a big, red, shiny nose. But why was it big? Why was it red? And why was it shiny? Well, I tell you, it wasn't always like that. He had a nose like all the other reindeer. It was shiny, though, because he kept on licking it a lot. Mostly, they're black, sometimes white with snow, and they can be pink and furry. One thing is not generally known is that Rudolph was a very greedy reindeer. When it was mealtime, he always tried to be first in the queue so he could get all the tasty bits first. If not, he would push and barge his way through to the front, which the other reindeer did not like, and they would stick close together to keep him out. That is why he volunteered for Christmas Eve. He knew that in every home there would be a carrot or an apple for him. He even managed to get his teeth into a mince pie when Santa was not looking and was distracted by his um, sherry. He never shared, so all the reindeer never got a look in. And they were working just as hard as he was. In November, it was way in time for all the reindeers who wanted to do the Christmas run. Now, you can't have a fat reindeer. You have to help the magic. So they all had to weigh in the same. If not, they just couldn't fly. One by one, they stood on the scales. All were fine until it came to Rudolph. He was five pounds over. Santa said he had to go on a diet and lose weight. If not, another reindeer would have to take his place. He had seven weeks. He tried so hard not to be greedy. He waited at the back of the queue and ate all the leftovers. His, whenever his rumbling tummy got so bad, he took a long run in the snow. On Christmas Eve morning, it was the final weigh-in. And Rudolph was delighted when he was told he'd lost weight and had passed the fly. And then he went with all the other reindeers for breakfast. Whilst he was waiting his turn, he saw a juicy carrot roll his way. And as he bent down to get it, a commotion started when Blitzen bumped into Prancer, whose hoof stood on Rudolph's nose. It was so painful that he gave out a mighty scream. Reindeer's hooves can be very hard and sharp. He missed the carrot. Prancer was very sorry and said that it was not his fault, but Rudolph was not convinced. Almost immediately, his nose started to swell and turn a bright red. It was so embarrassing. All day he hid until it was time to go and get his harness on to be attached to the sleigh. He didn't want Santa to see his nose, so he kept to the back. But it was no good. Santa saw it. He threw his arms up in the air. Whatever has happened to your nose, Rudolph? Well, Rudolph was not a telltale, so he said it was an accident. But he could hear Blitzen and Prancer sniggering. When the mighty big doors to the sleigh barn opened, all could see that it was snowing heavily outside. It's going to be a long night, Santa said. Rudolph, he called, come to the front. With that big red shiny nose, you can light the way and we will all follow you. Well, it was a long night, but not as long as it could have been. All the other reindeer were very thankful and even Blitzen and Prancer said thank you to Rudolph and sorry. When they got home to their nice warm barn, they made sure Rudolph got all the best food and was at the front. So all around the world, children got their presents, all thanks to Rudolph's big, red, shiny nose. Merry Christmas. And have yourself a merry little Christmas now.